Hey everybody, Real with Wes, coming at you day four, a little late, apologize, but make sure I come to you guys with an encouraging word, uh, talking about a healthy headspace this week. And today I just want to emphasize this one part um, that would really help a lot of Christians, a lot of believers, uh, a lot of people that are pursuing after God and getting to know God better in their relationship. I think more, probably I will designate this day probably as my most important day about that healthy headspace because the way church world and religion has been set up in a lot of the wrong direction. And it's this lack of understanding that God doesn't need us to perform. God doesn't need a show. God doesn't need us to have it all together. Do we want to? Yeah, the love of God rising up inside of us. And I hate having a preference that every time I start to say, um, you know, pursuing this thing, because people are like, oh, you're talking about sin and this and that. And that right there is also the downward spiral. Uh, when people think it's we're always talking about, you know, giving license to sin. Well, that's that whole mindset that sin is the real issue when it's not. When God and his love is unconditional. When the rules and the regulations for God, uh, forgive some of the background noise, but just kind of throwing some things at you. The rules and the regulations to God are, are, are not what we make them to be. And they actually violate his very essence and nature, which is love, which is compassion, is what he tells us to be. We portray God as that almost to a certain point of, um, to a certain place of just, you know, totally against what we know we should do in our own nature and our heart. So one thing that can consume our headspace with the wrong and the negative things is believing that God is expecting us this sacrifice or this repayment or penance, I think is the word I'm looking for. And God isn't expecting that. All through the Bible, we see this trajectory going where people are feeling after God, thinking God wanted this, God wanted this. And it was like, nope, God didn't want that. God needed sacrifice. Nope, God didn't really need sacrifice. God needed you to qualify by a bloodline. Nope, God didn't really need that. God needs you to qualify by uh, circumcision. Nope, God didn't really need it. And it's this constant back and forth of how we want to try to narrowly uh, enclose God and create all these rules to connect with God. And what happens is with church world and religion that is inundated with all that, you can get so cluttered with that that you miss getting to even know God. That you miss just, it's, man, just trusting God day and day. Really, what, when we talk about our faith in God, what is the faith that we come aware of? That righteousness is a gift. And that it doesn't take all these things to appease God. God doesn't need them. We think as human beings... And that's the darkness that comes in. That's the fallingness. Really what Adam and Eve fell into, if you really want to talk about and Satan, if you want to talk about the dark powers, it puts you in this ever vicious cycle. I call the hamster wheel, pursuing, trying to appease God, appease God. And the lie with all that is we think God needs that and wants that. And he doesn't. Man, he doesn't. Jesus took care of it all. It is finalized, finished. Well, what do we do, Pastor Wes? What am I supposed to do now? That same unconditional love that you, I'm talking about, you receive from God that's so overwhelming that feels almost too good to be true because all the religion we're taught, pay it forward to others. Treat others in the same way. Show that compassion, empathy, and, and caring and forgiveness and love and mercy that you need every day from God, that you get every day from God so generously. Lavish it on others now. Man, and life gets a lot more simpler. Things don't get so complex. God isn't so complex. When I say complex, complicated, confusing, I think is the word I'm looking for. Life isn't so confusing. Interacting with people isn't confusing. Being a Christian isn't so confusing anymore. And it gets real simple what it's all about, man. Enjoy your relationship with God. Don't be cluttered and weighed down with all these other things. And then just pay it forward and love other people and treat people right. That's the mark of our Christianity. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Uh, once again, sorry coming a little late, man, but uh, glad to, I want to make sure I'm coming to you guys some encouraging words, some uplifting words, some practical things you can take of your day. And then, of course, I'll be back here tomorrow to finish it off for day five. Uh, join me all week long. Go back and watch the other ones. Share this, like this, follow our pages, all those different things on New York so you can keep up to date what's going on around here at church. Um, we got some exciting things, such as our anniversary on the 16th. Uh, but all right, that's all I got for you guys. Catch you tomorrow.